Arizona is planning to allow a small group of fans at State Farm Stadium for the matchup. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks, she is live at State Farm this morning with the rules that they're going to have to follow. Trisha, these tickets aren't available to the general public, right? Are they already all gone? So that's still to be determined, guys. There's a lot of rules to follow, but these are the numbers that we're getting. There are going to be 1,200 fans here Sunday for the big game, and this does mark the very first time that the Cards are going to be able to purchase tickets this season. So this is a really big deal. 1,200 people this Sunday. A few weeks ago, the Cards let about 750 family members or close friends of players to the home game against the Detroit Lions. And this week... Those special tickets will only be available for season ticket members. The Cardinals say the seats were sold in pairs and will be assigned using local and state COVID-19 guidelines. To help ensure safety, masks will be mandatory and social distancing is a must. And like I said, only 1,200 fans are allowed in the stadium this week. Keep in mind, State Farm Stadium can hold more than 63,000 fans normally. Fans will be asked to leave if they do not follow these safety protocols. Also, to help out, tickets are par and parking are going to be 100% digital and touch less touch lessly scanned when fans enter the stadium. And concessions will also be contactless. So after Sunday's game, there's a couple other home games scheduled November 8th and the 15th. Still to be determined whether they're going to have fans or not. If so, how many? So, of course, this is a fluid situation as we are still dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And stay with 12 News for the very latest. Remember, we're your home of the Arizona Cardinals. Live in Glendale, Trisha Hendricks, Today in AZ. And just to be clear, everyone out there, if you don't know you're going to the game, like if you don't have your tickets already. You're not going. It, you're not going. It's, <laughs> it's too late because other than the 750 tickets they gave to players, family, and friends, the rest went to season ticket holders. They've already been notified. Aww. Anyway, those fans, Trisha, they'll see arguably the most important Cardinal Seahawks game in years. The winner will take over first place in the NFC West. It's the place Arizona hasn't been since 2015. And the folks out in Vegas have Seattle favored by three and a half points. And look, that makes sense. The Seahawks are undefeated. Arizona's four and two. So based on the body of work, advantage Seattle. But Arizona might have the advantage in the injury department. Seattle's best defensive player, safety Jamal Adams, has not practiced in two weeks. He has a groin injury. If he can't get on the field today, he is probably not going to play on Sunday. And that would be huge, especially considering Seattle is already the worst defense in the NFL, giving up 471 yards per game. It's not good. And it's an area Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury will be trying to exploit, but it is not all advantage Cardinals. Seattle coming off a of bye week. It means that they've had 14 days to prepare for this game. Arizona coming off a Monday night road game in Dallas. So 14 days of practice for Seattle, just five for Arizona. That's advantage Seahawks. But let's keep this simple. The game will come down to quarterback play. Who's better, Kyler Murray or Russell Wilson? Experts think it'll be a high-scoring game. Vegas has the over-under at 56. That's almost two touchdowns more than the average number of points scored in the NFL this season. So who scores more? Yeah, that's the obvious metric, deciding who wins the game. The most obvious play for you at home. Go ahead and watch the game here on 12 News. Then stick with us for Cardinals Locker Room immediately following.